Though their road to marriage was winding, their connection and commitment to each other is absolute. Darcy always puts his family first and is the calmness in a family of chaos. He was pretty calm today, Kylie, I've got to say, yeah. Kylie is organised, focused, and together they have the perfect balance. So Kylie and Darcy's love journey started a whole 18 years ago um, in the faithful um, Mustang bar, um, which we revisited on Kylie's hens night. Still very dirty and I can't believe we used those toilets. Travels many years side by side, will now and forever move as one. Marriage is their way of celebrating how far they have come as a couple. It's a way to celebrate their strength as a couple and to celebrate their focus and commitment as parents in creating their strong family unit. Watching my daughter grow up into a beautiful bride standing before me. Whew. She has filled me with so much joy. Everyone my daughter meets is touched by her warmth and kindness. Such a loving daughter and amazing friend and now a beautiful wife. Mandy, Brooke and Calvin and I met Kylie and Darcy back in 2007. At the time they, weren't, they were just a couple. They'd been together for a, a little while. So we didn't know what the future was for them. Um, once they announced that they were going to be a unit, I went into checklist mode because there's some important elements that need to be ticked off to ensure that our daughter is going to get the right man. So the first thing that was very important to us was, is he handsome? And yes, he's a good looking rooster. That was a big tick. No problem with that one. without reservation to give yourself in marriage to Kylie Marie Nicholson. I do. So do you, Kylie Marie Nicholson, come here freely and without reservation to give yourself in marriage to Darcy James Gilchrist? I do. That's gorgeous. Lovely. We to my son-in-law, Darcy, is a perfect match for my daughter, He's strong, confident, but yet gentle and kind. He's always been there to offer support, comfort and guidance to my daughter. And I know he will continue to do so throughout the marriage. I'm so grateful that my daughter has found someone so special to send to share her life with. You know, I love you guys. Holly and myself have shared lots of memories. One time um, in the Mustang Bar, actually, we had lots of good memories there. On occasion, I'd get into fights. <laughs> Believe it or not. Yeah, that's not surprising. Um, and she, like all best friends and cousins do, tried to save my phone that went flying because back in those days, we didn't have, um, couldn't save everything. So everything on my phone, all our photos and that would have been gone. So she went flying into her, my phone that went flying and um, she slipped and broke her, broke her wrist. So everyone needs a friend and a cousin like that. When you've lost your way. So when two people are joined together in marriage, they bring together two families, 
two circles of friends, two communities. Each of us here find ourselves connected as a direct result of the love, dancing and climbing share. Together. Is he big and strong and can he look after her? There's no dramas there. That, he's built like a brick shit house. He's fine. <laughs> Is he gamefully employed? Can he look after himself? Yes, big tick, no dramas. Is he a good bloke? A bloke that you'd have by your campfire? Absolutely, big tick, no dramas with that. Does he like cars? Yeah, he likes cars. And when he brought a Ford, green Ford V8 Ute, that was like three ticks. Big, perfect. Does he eat meat? Yes. And he barbecues. Oh, and he can handle a tong and a fire. Outstanding. Big tick. Does he drink beer? Yes. Another big tick. And he likes a bit of scotch too. Even more. Good evening, everyone. I hope you are having a great time here today, celebrating the marriage of mum and dad. Mum and dad have been are the best parents that Carter and I could have asked for. And we want them to have the best day because they deserve it. Mum and Dad, Carter and I love you very much and hope that you enjoy today. Thank you everyone, enjoy the rest of the evening and enjoy the cake. <laughs> I'm sure my daughter and her husband have many years of happiness ahead of them. I can only imagine the wonderful memories they will create, the adventures they will embark on and the love they will share. As we raise our glasses, I'd like to offer a toast to the happy couple. May they always be surrounded by love, joy and laughter to the bride and groom. By the power of your love and commitment to each other and by the power vested of me by the state of Western Australia, I now pronounce you, how quick was that, husband and wife. Remember friends and family of which you are a precious part, love deeply and love truly, give freely from your heart. And so I'm very blessed to know the wonders you will do because you are my wife and I believe in you. I'm gonna 